Hello everyone, welcome back to another exciting lecture of process modeling and simulation. I am your course instructor engineer Mohammad Hari Somayo, working as lecturer at Department of Chemical Engineering, Commerce University, Islamabad, Lahore campus. And from now onward, we will follow our module number two, which is related to the unit process modeling. So let's see what are the exercises which are involved in this module. These are the textbooks and reference books which we have discussed. So in the unit process modeling, we will model or we will simulate mixer, stream splitter, flash separator, decanter, component splitter, heat exchangers, heater, cooler, pump and compressor. So our today's activity is focused on the simulation of mixer and simulation of stream splitter. So let's see how these two unit operations can be simulated in S1 plus. So this activity, which is activity number one, which involves the simulation of a mixture is focused on CRO number one and CRO number two. How it is focused on CRO number one and two? We will discuss it. The objective of the simulation is to recognize the way of using mixer in S1 plus knowing how to combine two or more streams into one stream using mixer module. So basically mixer means that you are mixing more than one streams, means two, three, four, five, six, and so on. These number of streams and convert it to a single stream. So the selection of property package and selection of the mixture is related with CLO number one. Well, the simulation of the mixer is linked with CLO number two, which states that the simulate various unit operations using suitable software. So the problem description states that if you have 1000 kg per hour of toluene at 60 degree centigrade and 1000 kg per hour of benzene at 70 degree centigrade, and if you mix both these streams, determine the outlet temperature of the mixer means determine the outlet temperature of the stream which is exiting this mixer that both streams toluene and benzene are entering the mixer and one single stream is leaving the mixer so determine the temperature of the stream which is at the exit of the mixer tension please that the degree of freedom in this is zero that in this block we do not need to specify anything i have told you in a our previous exercise which was related to the physical properties estimation that we have to define the properties of this stream the specification of this stream the specification of this stream which is the at the inlet and once you connect the outlet it will be converged it means you do not need to specify anything for the mixer if you have to define anything for the block it means its degree of freedom won't be zero but will be greater than zero which we will discuss it later and we will use the property package as SRK soft red list Kong since it's a hydrocarbon mixer so we can also use Peng Robinson as well but for this exercise we will use SRK so our first task as you know is to set up the specifications then we will select the components and then we will select the property package as SRK and after that, the binary interaction parameters we have already discussed in our previous exercises as well. And then once you run it, you get the warning that the free water method used should be steam NBS. While currently it's steam TA, as you see in petroleum calculation options. These are specifically related to the petroleum facilities. So for petroleum facilities, usually free water method steam ta is normally used but for srk we use steam nbs method so what we will do for srk we will replace this free water method from steam ta to steam nbs ye different steam ki properties hoti hain jo ke steam ko define karte hain nbs steam ho gaya asmi steam ho gaya ta steam ho gaya to is tarah yahan pe jo steam ta hai iski jagah aap simple steam nbs kar denge jo ke agli slides mein hua hua hai and if you go to the search bar, you see the steam NBS method is recommended for use with SRK, BWRS, MX Bonnell, and Grayson two property methods. 
and it uses 1984 NPS NRC steam tables and IAPS correlations for transport properties. IAPS means International Association for Properties of Steam. After that, results are available. Go to the simulation, add the block, add streams, inlet streams, and outlet streams. You can either give the name to these streams as well. It's up to you. Then specify the property 70 degree centigrade one bar for benzene stream with 1000 kg per hour, which is the mass value and mass fraction as one. Similarly, for tall means 60 degree centigrade one bar. 1000 kg per hour with mass fraction of toluene as 1. And then once you go to mixer, you do not need to specify any value. And this pressure is 0. Now this is, you have to understand the significance of this 0. It, this 0 doesn't mean 0 bar at the outlet. Once you define this 0, it means that it is now dependent on what pressure you enter in the stream. मतलब ये है कि जो आप स्ट्रीम ऐड कर रहे हैं मिक्सर के स्टार्ट पे अगर वो पांच बार है तो ये क्या करेगा इस जीरो का मतलब है कि जो आपने वो इनलेट पे एंटर कर दिया प्रेशर वही प्रेशर आपका आउटलेट पे जाएगा अगर आप यहां पे कुछ चेंज करेंगे तो फिर वही चेंज आपके मिक्सर के एंड पे शो हो जाएगी ठीक है इसको करके भी आप लोग देख सकते हैं एंड देन रन इट एंड यू सी द टेंपरेचर ऑफ स्ट्रीम एट द आउटलेट so this is our first activity and after that we will go to the stream splitting. So let's go back to S1 plus and solve it. Benzene and toluene are added. Click next. Select SRK over here. Again click next. The binary interaction parameters are available. Estimate using Unifac. And once after doing it, you see results available with warning. Go to check status. And the same warning is appearing over here that free water method should be NBS steam or steam NBS when the main property method is SRK. This is rule of S1 plus that for SRK, you have to use steam NBS in free water method. If I click F1 and take it you to steam NBS, then you see in search results, click here steam NBS, STM NBS2 that it uses 1984 correlation for thermodynamic properties, IAPS correlation for transport properties, and focus on this line that use this property method for pure water and steam with temperature ranges of 273.15 Kelvin to 2000 Kelvin. The maximum pressure is over this bar, and the steam NBS method is recommended to be used with. SRK, BW, RS, MX, Bonnell and Grayson, two property methods. So what we will do, we will go back to the specifications and in free water method, select it as steam NBS and again run it. And once after running, you see results are now available successfully. So after you have run here and these results are available, then go to simulation. Agar aap is run ko press nahi karte, और आप डायरेक्ट सिमुलेशन पे चले जाते हैं तो ये वापस आपको कहेगा कि पहले जाकर उसको ठीक करो उसको चलाओ उसको देखो उसमें कोई वार्निंग तो नहीं है रिजल्ट्स अवेलेबल है फिर आके इधर सिमुलेशन करनी है सो गो टू सिमुलेशन एंड आफ्टर गोइंग टू सिमुलेशन एज वी हैव डिस्कस इन आवर इंट्रोडक्टरी लेक्चर ऑफ दिस S1 प्लस सॉफ्टवेयर दैट दिस इज द मिक्सर दीस आर द इक्विपमेंट्स प्लेस्ड ओवर हियर दीस आर द स्ट्रीम्स व्हिच आर मटेरियल एनर्जी हीट एंड वर्क स्ट्रीम सो क्लिक ऑन मिक्सर प्लेस इट ओवर हियर name it as mixer and then click in and by using this red expand it and then click on stream and connect it to this one label it as benzene similarly click another stream and you see feed required one or more if mixing material stream minimum one stream and maximum as per your need toluene is added and if you click here, product required if mixing material stream means you have to give here only one stream and that will be the mixed. I will label it as mix. And this is available, but this is the water decant for free water or dirty water if mixing material stream. This means that if any water is produced during this process or if water is separating during this process, then you can extract it using here. But obviously, in our case, water is not involved. So, 
click on benzene and enter its specifications and i have told you that flash types we can specify two out of three its degree of freedom is four it means you have to specify four properties number one is temperature pressure flow rate and composition so what are the given conditions that benzene is at 70 degree centigrade one bar at a mass flow rate of 1000 kg per hour and the mass fraction is one we have not been given mole fraction we have been given mass fraction so let's go back to s1 plus 70 degree centigrade one bar and total flow basis should be changed from mole to mass with 1000 kg per hour and kg per hour is by default selected and in composition change it to mass fraction and benzene take it as one after that you can click on next or you can click on toluene so i will click on next and it will take me to the toluene which is 60 degree centigrade one bar 1000 kg per hour so i have to convert it and the mass friction is one for toluene and simply run it and once you run it you see the results are available so go to main flow sheet and right click on it and go to stream results and you see that the mixed stream temperature is 62.327 so it was your requirement to determine the outlet temperature of the mixed stream and if you go to the composition mass friction you see it's 0 0.5 0 0.5 because mass flows were same so that's how you simulate a mixer in s plus this was our first activity for today our second activity is related to the stream splitter which is opposite of it here you have added two streams and you have received one stream but in stream splitter you will give one stream and you will get two or more than two streams so let's go back to the activity and see what are the simulation requirements. You can close it down because in next activity, our mixture will be different. So our this activity is related to the stream splitter and is opposite of the mixer. So there are two objectives as given in the mixer as well that recognize the way of using stream splitter model in S plus, knowing how to split the streams from one stream to two or more than two streams in the output as you see in the case of mixer there were mixing of two or more streams to produce one stream at the output but here you have to split one stream into two or more streams in the output and this activity is related with CLO number one and CLO number two in this exercise in given problem description we divide two streams as the ratio three to seven means one of the stream will be 30 percent of total flow rate and other stream will be 70% of total flow rate and we have been given the split ratio I will show you what are the different options available in stream splitter find the composition and flow rate of pentane hexane mixture with the specific composition using Peng Robinson property package it means we have been given pentane hexane binary mixture and we have to use Peng Robinson, it's a hydrocarbon system, so obviously we will be using an equation of state model, which is Peng Robinson. And its degree of freedom in split, stream splitter is 1 because we have to define either split fraction, flow, actual volume flow, limit flow, volume limit flow, and residual fraction, and so on. In this case, we will define the split fraction, which is 3 to 7, means we will define. 0.3 over here for one stream and for other stream it will be automatically 0.7 because you have defined two streams however if there were more than two streams then you have to define two split fractions over here so we have to select f split over here pentane as 58 percent and hexane as 58 percent total mass flow is 2000 kg per hour feed temperature is 70 degree centigrade and feed pressure is one bar so what you do simply select pentane hexane Peng Robinson property package go here give the specifications of the feed give one split fraction as 0.7 you can either give 0.3 the other one will be the 0.7 and once you run it you see the stream results over here that total stream was 2000 kg per hour 30% means 600 kg per hour for one stream 
and 70% means 1400 kg per hour for other stream. So let's quickly go back to aspirin plus and solve it. So the mixture which we have been given is pentane hexane mixture and click on next to select pangrobinson as the property package and simply click run. And once you run, results are available without any warning going to simulation. And this F split is the stream splitters. Stream splitters divide feed based on splits specified for the outer stream. So click on it, place it over here, name it as split, and you can maximize or increase its size as well. And at inlet, you have to specify one feed stream, and an outlet, there are two or more than two output streams. So click on material stream, and if you click here or see here, feed required one or more if splitting material stream, and label it as mixed stream. And product require two or more if splitting material stream. So what you do, one stream is you can label it as A, and other stream you can label it as B. Now specify this mixed stream, which is at 70 degree centigrade, one bar, at a mass flow rate of 2000 kg per hour, with a mass fraction of 0.54. Pentain and 0.54 hexane. If I take you back to the slides, then you see it's 50 weight percent, it's not mole percent. So you have to select mass fraction, not the mole fraction. After that, click next, and you have to specify the split fraction of one of these two. And if I scroll it down, then you can give split fraction or you can directly give the flow rate. Means you can, if I click here, flow, then in Convert it to mass and you can directly give here 600. And you can run it and you see the result after results available. Click here, go to stream results, and you will see that the flow rate here is 600 kg per hour and here it is 1400 kg per hour. This is one of way of doing it. Another way of doing it that instead of giving flow, you provide the split fraction and label it as 0.3. And once again you run it. You see the results will remain the same. And if you go to mass fraction, you see there is no separation going on. Simply you are splitting the streams. So the mass fraction at inlet will be same as that of the mass fraction at the outlet. So that's how you simulate a stream splitter in S1 Plus. So we have done two exercises for now. One is related to the simulation of mixer where degree of freedom was zero, and another for stream splitter where degree of freedom is 1. So that's all from this lecture. Thank you so much.